Hi, my name is Katie Purcell and I'm an applications engineer here at Acronix. Today, I'm going to show you how to get your vector path accelerator card up and running in both a standalone configuration and using a PCIe interface within a host PC. Let's get started. The vector path accelerator card is manufactured by Bitware, a Molex company, and features Acronix's Speedster AC7T 1500 device. The card ships alone in the box. You will also get access to download the necessary software tools for development of your design from both Acronix and Bitware. But first, you will need to provide a few additional components to get started. For the standalone setup, you'll need an ATX power supply. In our bench, we use an ATX power supply with two 12-volt 8-pin power connectors. You will also need to ensure there is enough airflow across the board. We have removed the board cover and are using a fan to force air across the device's heatsink. To program the FPGA, you'll need a USB-C cable, which will connect to the PC. On the PC, we have installed the Acronix Tool Suite and the Bitware Software Development Kit, or SDK. Let's now connect the ATX power supply to the connectors at the end of the VectorPath accelerator card. Next, plug in the USB-C cable here. The other end of the cable is connected to the PC's USB port for programming the FPGA with the bitstream. Finally, ensure that the fan is providing the proper airflow. We are now ready to run a test design. Now we will show you how to set up the vector path accelerator card in a PCIe slot within a PC platform. The system we are using has an open PCIe slot and is running a Linux operating system. Also, it's important that you have proper airflow within the PC chassis. In this configuration, we have multiple fans installed in the PC chassis for cooling. In our setup, we also have a separate PC used to program the FPGA during development. It will require you to connect the USB-C cable in the same fashion as the standalone setup. Let's now insert the VectorPath PCIe card into the server platform. We will then connect the two 12-volt 8-pin power connectors from the existing power supply in the PC chassis. Next, we will connect the USB-C cable to the board and the PC running the Acronix tool suite. Now that our hardware is connected, we will run through the software setup. There are two software packages that need to be installed. First is the Acronix tool suite, which includes ACE tools used for place and route and programming of the FPGA. We recommend installing this on a separate PC during the prototyping and design phase. Second, the Bitware SDK is a separate software from Bitware that includes the PCIe driver and host API, as well as utilities to monitor board statistics like temperature and voltage. Both of these software packages are included with the purchase of a vector path accelerator card. The Acronix tool suite can be downloaded from the Acronix support portal, and Bitware SDK can be downloaded from the Bitware developer site. If you are using the PC host configuration, you will need to install the Bitware SDK on the host PC platform as it also includes the PCIe driver. Now with the hardware and software setup complete, we will run a first demo design to ensure the VectorPath accelerator card is functional. Users can download a blinking LED demo bitstream from support.acronix.com. We will load this design into the ACE tool suite and initiate programming of the FPGA. Once complete, 
You will now see a blinking LED pattern on the VectorPath board, confirming successful operation of the software and hardware setup. Next, we will run the board management controller command bw underscore card underscore list to confirm the device is connected as well as display the serial number. Finally, the command bw underscore card underscore monitor dash n1 shows the temperature, voltage, current, and power utilization of various board components. Thanks for watching the VectorPath Accelerator Card Getting Started demo. If you need further support using the VectorPath Accelerator Card, please contact Acronix for assistance at support.acronix.com.